Variety Spotlight on Maria Rosa. So Maria Rosa comes from Elk Creek Dragon Fruit Farm. That's where it was originally from. And I actually got these cuttings from that farm. And you can see last year I had a small sample of the fruit. Looks like American Beauty on the outside and the inside is a pale pink, less pink than Delight. And that knife was dirty there, so it doesn't even look that pink, so I'm sorry about that. Now, it is a very vigorous grower and it is a great rootstock. Multiple people have reported that and I would agree I'm using it myself. Now, every now and then it will get an extra thorn, so I don't see any here, but I'll show you. And that's one kind of unique trait about it, is it's usually a single thorn, thorn and will occasionally have an extra one pop out here and there. Now, there is another variety of Maria Rosa out there, and you can see that one has a fuchsia flesh and a similar exterior. But this one was accidentally uh, left Elk Creek. It was, uh, it's a hybrid, it wasn't supposed to go anywhere. And so that one is a false Maria Rosa, but it is a great fruit. So uh, I, those fruit were overripe in April from that video that you just saw. Can you believe that? Now we'll talk more about that plant in the future, but right now I wanna tell you how Maria Rosa came to be. It's kind of funny. So what happened is long ago, these plants were cuttings in, a, in a, an apartment or a rental house actually. and they were just tossed into a pile when the renters moved and they mowed and cleaned up the back and they just grew kind of in a big pile sideways all sorts of shapes and directions and the owner or a renter uh, named Maria called uh, Linda and Gary from Elk Creek Dragon Fruit Farm and asked them to come check them out and see if they were dragon fruit so they went and visited the plant and assessed them and took some cuttings to see what would happen now several years later they ended up being a delicious fruit. And so you can see now uh, where they got the name. It was Maria's home or rental and Rosa for the color of the flesh. So I think that's a really interesting story. I heard it myself yesterday. And another note is it is tends to be need cross pollination. It can be self sterile or it, it appears to be self sterile. And she, she said that Sugar Dragon is an excellent cross-pollinator. So there you go. I'll get, I'll, let me go show you that other plant really quick. Okay, so this is the wrong Maria Rosa. But it's a really great plant. My favorite thing is it's super vigorous. This is only 10-month-old cuttings. And right now there's something like 34 new branches on it. It's insane. At the end of December here. So... You can see here the spines are a different, much different structure. And there will be multiple quite often. And as the plant matures here, you can see, and it does get a little bit of horniness on it. See it right there? And look at that. We must have a snail or a slug. I will have to take him out today. But that's okay. As I said, this thing's very, very vigorous. And we'll talk more about this one soon. All right, give us a like and a subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care.